and welcome to my first ever writing vlog that I'm going to probably mess up very badly, but I'm gonna try it. I thought that now that I have no longer university lectures and I'm pretty much free the whole summer, it's time to finally continue or better start writing my first draft for my new new book. Can you call it a book when I don't think no if it's even going to be a book yet? Okay. Anyway, I thought that maybe filming while I write would make me more you know make me write more often or more regularly. If I'm like, okay, I'm t going to try now to write from then to like, what, three o'clock. Then maybe if I film and vlog it, it's going to be more doable. <laughs> so today is the day that I actually start my first draft. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how it feels to start from scratch, how it is to once again start anew and what kind of feelings I have for this summer but now that I have started and also I was supposed to start waking up at nine o'clock in the morning did I do that? no uh, and I woke up 11.30 I know that didn't go well but tomorrow I'll try my best, so this actually can be like something like I'll try to make some kind of regular schedule for myself, that type of thing, as well as how it is how it is to actually start writing once more. Right? I think we are all bored of my face by now, so let me show you my beautiful writing bullet journal that I have made for this occasion. Okay, let me just quickly show you that what I'm going to use as my kind of motivation for writing and it's this writing bullet journal. So it has a bit of a sticker that's about my story, perfectly about my story because it has aliens, it's sci-fi and yeah, and this notebook is like a three-year-old cheap notebook that I found and I thought it's good enough for this one because I'm going to probably make very messy notes and stuff so I don't want to kind of like sacrifice a nice notebook for all that kind of thing. So I'm going to have an actual you know flip through of this notebook once I'm finished with it because right now it's kind of like just a I don't know, draft, <laughs> if you can say that. First draft of my um, bullet journal. But it has like index whenever I fill things out. And I think this will help me keep up with the, wor with the world I'm going to build and the plots and different points about characters and stuff that I'm probably going to forget if I don't write it down somewhere, like little details and then word count I think is going to be the best motivator for me. Like I'm going to use a sticker every time I read one milestone, like 500 words and 1k words, so it's each 500 words added I'm going to have a nice sticker for myself because I actually did it. So it's one way to motivate myself that it just doesn't feel like it's going on forever and I'm never reaching anything. Also it's funny that now that I'm not filming my face I can speak much more freely and <laughs> naturally. It shows that I'm just not like used to it. Anyway, then I have a daily count that is now going to be a very important one because I wrote that I'm going to start 24th of May which is today and yeah so I'm going to add words I wrote that way that day and how much it is in total by now so I only wrote to the end of this month and but I'm going to continue it and then here's chapter list and I'm going to use this chapter 
spreads that I'm going to have more detailed additions and like notes about my chapters and what kind of stuff um, I wrote for the chapter and what I need to add maybe when I come up with something and then when the first draft is done I can just go here check it out check out what I was thinking back then and then start my edits for the second draft right Right, so that was my writing bullet journal and um, what else can I tell about this thing? Okay, one thing that is good maybe to tell that about a little bit about my story. I'm not going to share a lot because I like to keep things kind of like more of a mystery and only, you know, mystery, yeah. And so no, not too, not too much spoilers, but anyway, it's a story about this kind of like alien cult and their attempt to take over the world. <laughs> it's that way, but it's going to have romance, it's going to have character growth, especially that because I love reading about character growth more than action or anything like that, but it's also going to have I'm going to try to make it have a balanced amount of action and world building but this project is quite big and I haven't been writing for such a long time like for months now I have only been writing my bachelor's thesis which is nothing like a creative writing I'm going back in and I'm hoping that it's going to come easily. I have had this story on my mind for months now actually and I have been adding some plot points and I know how it's going to end kind of and I know what's going to the biggest plot points I have in mind and nothing else. Like I have ruined stories for myself with too much plotting so I like to you know, discover the world while I while I write. So okay, I can push this off as long as I want, but I think it's time to actually start writing, right? It's actually surprising how to start. <laughs> okay, so I actually wrote quite a lot. <coughs> not used to talking apparently but anyway I actually wrote quite a lot even though it's not good at all the quality of writing is just horrible I'm going to, I'm just, uh, no but I did write starting was actually super hard because suddenly I wasn't motivated at all to write this story even though before this I was very motivated to write this one because I knew what I want to do with this one and I started and it's not completely horrible now at least I know what I want from my first chapter I just know that I need to rewrite it completely once I'm going to do the second draft but I'm going to let it be like this because I don't know what I want from it at this moment and even though if I did rewrite it now I probably will have so much more to add after I have finished the entire first draft like I don't know what everything that I want to do now and yeah I'm just figuring out things as I write and I think I'm going to keep my focus on just going forward. Like, I know my big plot points, I am keep going towards them and whatever happens between, heck yeah, and whatever I come up with 
while I write and I know I want to edit them. Uh, like it's the second draft and I'm going to write them down to this beautiful creature that actually is super, super helpful. I noticed that I have a lot of terms already, a lot of names that I won't remember if I don't write them down. I forgot to tell you that I actually have a plan of writing at least 50,000 words during the summer, which is next three months, <laughs> till the end of August. So let's see how that is going. I, I have never finished the first draft, so good luck for me, I guess. And I'm, But I'm super bored with only starting new drafts and never finishing the previous ones. Like that's, that's just boring already for me. I want to finish something and I want Desperately, I want to finish a story, and I thought that this is actually some kind, somehow a little bit easier than my other ideas. So, if I don't have any, uh, you know, motivation to write this one, then too bad I'm going to write this one and force it out of myself because I know what I'm going to do with this one. But anyway, let's go at those stickers for two of my boxes because today I wrote. 1023 words today. I'm proud of that amount. Ten twenty-five, and I have been up since eight because I had an appointment. I'm going to see a friend around two o'clock. So yeah, yesterday was a good writing day. I was very tired all day, and like I wrote three hundred words around. Also, books. <laughs> I want a freaking chef. <sighs> so hi, it's day four and you just saw me piling up books because I'm going to film my bullet journal setup for June and I think that's going to take some time so maybe I'm going to film it like next, what, two days today, like tonight. It's already like, it's coming 9 o'clock in the evening, so I'm going to be filming for a while. <laughs> Alright, and I haven't done any writing today because I, I have been quite tired. I didn't do any writing yesterday either because I was also very tired. It's like I have had other things to do these two days and I think I'm still trying to come out of the fatigue that the stress because of university has caused me and yeah the stuff like that and my mental health hasn't been the best either so I think that kind of fatigue and tiredness is due to that kind of stuff so yeah I haven't written anything 
and I now realize I maybe should have had a couple of days off couple of days off before <laughs> couple of days off before I started to write might be that I'm not going to write anything tomorrow either I'm going to try I'm probably not going to write anything tonight because it's already 9 p.m. and yes I feel kind of guilty that I already started to lag off but I need to learn to relax it's fine to relax for all these days it hasn't even been a week since my week since my last exam was so I can have a break right so my idea of a break <laughs> is to do my bullet journal setup because that is at least one thing I want to keep consistent in my life that I'm not going to lack of I think I'm going to see you tomorrow and sorry that this vlog has been less of a writing vlog and more like what kind of life I'm having at the moment and rain. <laughs> it's very rainy. It has been very rainy these two bad days and it's summer. Thanks Finland. Hi there, it's day 7. So it's final day of my weekly vlog, which is turning out to be more like a, like a lifestyle vlog, not a writing vlog. <laughs> so, vlog actually, so... Uh, but I have had so much fun doing this one. I mean, I feel good filming little snippets of my life and showing them to you because I don't know why it's like making something that is more like atmospheric than information packed <laughs> and it's, that's the kind of thing I, that I like even in writing I love making things atmospheric making them feel like something like places that you could imagine being in and stuff like that so yeah um, as you might see a little bit, I burned my face yesterday. You saw parts of that in my vlog. I was whole day in the sun and I didn't think about putting on sun lotion, which is bad because it's important to you take care of your skin. I didn't do that. Um, but it has been so rainy for a couple of days and cloudy and stuff like that and so I didn't even think about it Right, so yeah, but I'm going to do a little bit of riding today. I don't know at 
which point my head is hurting a little bit right now it's because of the sun i had too much sun and didn't protect myself from it so now it's hurting a little bit yesterday it was pounding a lot of course so i'm not going to start writing right away but i'm going to do that today and i thought about that i want to write that one scene till the end like the first chapter's final scene where my main character learns what she has to do so things don't really get into action but it's more like base for the story and i already know that i definitely want to rewrite first chapter but i think it's good to write it all of it out now because it's more like now zero draft that i heard people use when they write especially kate cavanaugh um, so it helps me to figure out what kind of stuff I actually want to add into my first chapter. And I won't worry about what I'm going to write. That, or, you know, if it's any good what I'm writing. And because I'm just now figuring out what I want to write. And I figured out that I want the first chapter start from what I'm writing right now which is instructions for this mission and then move on to her daily life what it's kind just like her feelings about leaving her home of many years for the first time ever and uh, things that she's scared of and just kind of like build up for it to the point when she f finally steps out of the house kind of like that so can we get to know our characters right i'm not sure if that's actually what i'm in the end going to end up with because <laughs> i don't know the whole, whole story yet and it might actually be that i learned more about writing learn more about good beginnings and stuff later on uh, that's my plan for now so yeah i hope you liked and enjoyed my vlog and i'm going to try to make it more writing writing related later on in life but i actually like this kind of atmospheric stuff but yeah i don't know when i'm going to do my next vlog and when i do i hope you are there to watch it and please leave down a comment what you think about this kind of vlogs if you ever wanted to do your own or if you have any, any good tips for the ch first chapter and yeah i'll see you next time